Hi, welcome back to my channel. So this is gonna be some more general messages just for whoever clicks on and you're meant to hear these messages. Unfortunately, I was eight minutes into a read y'all and tell me why, and I don't know what this is about, but, and it's never happened before, but you know how like you can be recording a video and if somebody's trying to call, somehow it got like it knocked out the video part and then it's like the phone part came in. I'm like, what is going on? Um, but yeah, it not it completely interrupted my video. But so what I was getting, um, I was channeling divine feminine energy. So if you resonate with that type of energy, it looks like divine feminine is coming out of a space of focusing on yourself. But it's like when you come in and it, it give me this energy of like somebody coming out the house, but it's like paparazzi, like somebody trying to take a picture of you, but it's almost like kind of shocking, like how you look. It's like this new version of you is being revealed, but it's shocking because it's like um, some people may already realize like the things that you've been through, but it's like you're not looking like what you've been through. So this is why it's important to make sure you taking care of yourself. And I don't know why I keep channeling that lady, y'all, that lady Eve um, Evelyn McCall. That's who I was mentioning in that read that I posted. Um, it was today, but it's like a, it's already on my channel. Look back on it, but I, I named the title. Yeah, I titled it The Most Beautiful Tower Moment or something like that. But definitely um, check that out because I keep channeling that lady, like the whole situation that happened to her, even though it's not positive, but she still left a, a big impact. It's like people still remember her, even though it happened like way, way, way back. But I even, um, if you look in the comment section on that video, I had posted the, I shared the link to the picture just for whoever ne never seen it before. But basically this lady, Evelyn McCall, she decided that she wanted to, you know, I guess she was done with being here on earth. I don't know. But she committed the, the, um, the S word and she jumped from the Empire State Building she ended up landing on a car, but the way she landed, it was just like, you can't even tell, like it don't look like um, she fell from the building. Cause like she was not, she was not even, um, it don't look like she was hurt or harmed, but it's like she made a, in, uh, basically like the impact from her body in the car, it made like this indention but it's like she was like perfectly placed into like the car or something. I can't really explain it, but you'll see if you look at the picture. But she was like completely flawless, okay? It don't even, like she ain't had no type of cut, scratches. She wasn't even bleeding. I don't think she was bleeding, but you can't see in the picture. I don't know, but it's just crazy. Like that's very shocking for that to happen. But the picture is like still around. It's an iconic picture. People done like recreated um, the picture of her um moment or whatever so it's like a, a very lasting impression so something about like first impressions or impressions lasting impressions could be significant as well but um yeah i was pulling cards or whatever and i'm just like wow but the first card that came out was take a look in the mirror you look good so yeah, something in regards to like pictures, photographs, it's like you looking good, but it's like you look like, you know, you looking at this picture, like this new version of yourself, this more healed, um, evolved version of yourself. And it's like, wow, like I really don't look like what I've been through. So it's like, give yourself a pat on the back. Okay. So I'm gonna, um, <laughs> I'm gonna just start over y'all. Cause like, I don't even know what else to say right now. Cause I was sitting there talking and it was going great. And then this call not the video out and I can't even edit it right now so it is what it is we just gonna overcome the obstacles I guess I don't know Okay, let's start over. I'm just gonna see what it is that you guys could be needing to know right now. What does the collector need to hear right now? What are they needing to hear right now? Okay, we got soft life showing up here. Now for some people, it's like, this could be like your goal. And you know, the soft life looks different for everybody. 
but it's like if that's something that you're wanting manifesting it looks like yeah for some people you could be waiting for this so let me see what else are they needing to see here right now what else are they needing to see here what is so funny <laughs> what else are they needing to see here right now so upgrade is coming out here. It looks like there's some upgrades that's happening right now, y'all. There's an upgrade within your life. It could be like your lifestyle too. Like, let's just say you never really lived a soft life. And I feel like um, for some reason, it's like every time I pull these cards, it'd be, um, and when I ask for messages for the collective, it's always like divine feminine energy. So yeah it looks like the divine feminine is coming into her soft era and you could be already in that type of era but i feel like with this upgrade it's like you'll really be able to like enjoy this new lifestyle or something new surrounding these upgrades that you're going to be receiving but look it's coming in as an unexpected offer that's what's showing up here but of course you know use discernment um use your intuition when it comes towards these offers y'all because they really be trying to play with divine feminists like seriously and it's really sad it's like wow they be showing and i <laughs> this may sound crazy y'all but i just feel like it's the truth it's almost like these jezebel spirits be getting more respect than like divine feminine like see and it, i just feel like it's really unfortunate you know but it is what it is give me some more insight here look spirit said speak your truth because what i just said is the truth even though some people don't want to admit it, but it's true. And I don't know what it is. Um, let me um, not say that too loud. <laughs> but no, I wanted to say, I don't know what it is, but these Jezebels that like to linger around on my channel, I don't know what it is because I saw where one was like basically stealing my content. I don't appreciate that. But yeah, let's not do that. Give me some more insight for the collective text messages could be significant as well look dark feminine energy so this is confirmation on what i'm saying y'all okay look someone is being fake and increase in finances there could be a need to be careful though about certain feminine energies that could be it just, it's kind of, yeah, it's definitely giving like Jezebel spirit, but you know, the Jezebel spirit does not discriminate. It can even too be like, you know, on children, but even men too. But it's them type of energies to where it's like, they are, it's like they want to live a certain type of lifestyle, but it's like out of manipulation. And I've been seeing that a lot too, like in the media. It's like these women that like to get pregnant by men it's like they securing the bag okay and i don't know the full story but it's like something ain't adding up but it's that type of energy it's like these people are fake okay they are and i do want to say this too because sometimes when people be showing it's like they are talking about like the soft life or it looks like they're living a certain type of lifestyle sometimes it be looking good but it's not like it's like they're not it's like that's fake so it's like you can't let certain things fool you, especially when it comes towards like other people's lifestyles. That's why it's important to focus on yourself. But I feel like in this situation right here, yeah, something's changing in regards to someone's lifestyle. This is an upgrade for you. Give me some more insight for the collective. What is What else are they need to see here right now? Look, new money coming in. And look, it's because you're on the right path. New money coming in, you're on the right path. So this could be confirmation for some people. Give me some more insight. Look, suitor. Someone's suitor is wealthy, y'all. See, the energy. And I, I want to say a specific name, but it's like, I don't know that person personally. And it's like, I don't want to be, I just want to be careful. I don't want no smoke with nobody. But, you know, it is what it is. But it's like certain women that you see, like, in the media or whatever. 
and it's like they go after certain men or like these suitors but it's because of money they want to live a certain type of lifestyle but yes in this specific situation divine feminine energy like true divine feminine energy is receiving a suitor or there's like suitors wealthy suitors look it's time to elevate so this is confirmation again so it looks like divine feminine is about to elevate okay move it to a new city or state could be significant as well y'all even like an opportunity to travel so change is coming you could be seeing five 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 or a lot of fives even ten ten you could be seeing ten ten a lot too but if you break that down it, it really is like five five yeah it's literally five 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 give me some more insight yeah a text message is very significant y'all so someone could be reaching out to you through text messages give me some more insight for the collective please look a promotion is coming so there's some type of promotion y'all that's going to help you to elevate there's some new money coming in too from this promotion but it looks like it's um and I forgot which read I was on, but I was saying, because the card Sudden Wealth was coming out. And I feel like something in regards to what somebody does for work, this promotion is bringing in the Sudden Wealth. That's what it looks like. Give me some more insight here for the collective. What else are they need to see here right now? Yeah, I don't know. Um, look, y'all talking too much, showing up here. Let me see. What is so funny? What? Why are you laughing? laughing you? Give me some more. Um, give me more insight. Give me more insight for the collective. What else are they needing to hear? For some people, you could be dealing with um. You could be dealing with a low vibrational water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yet, as I'm saying, this confirmation to block the energy. Yeah, it's like they trying to slow down a divine feminine, y'all. Like, seriously. They're trying to slow down a divine feminine. And you know what? I keep seeing these videos of like, you know how, um, what is it? It's like the saying, like, don't let your boyfriend... <laughs> Hold on, I can't even say this without laughing, but it's these videos I've been seeing, or like, you know, it's like a topic where women are talking about don't let your um, boyfriend hold you back from, um, no, don't let your boyfriend stop you from um, meeting your husband or something. So yeah, something about that saying could be significant too, but look, you blocking this energy, but that's what it's giving. It's like a low vibrational um, water sign. It's like stopping a divine feminine or like trying to hold her back and it's like no you cannot hold me back and i don't know if y'all ever saw um because i i saw this video but i didn't watch it i just saw like on my youtube feed but it was talking about like these women was sharing their stories like you know them tiktok stories or whatever but somebody like actually edits them and just make it to one video and post it on youtube but i didn't watch all of them or whatever I just saw like the title and I already knew what they were talking about because I can actually relate to this, but it's true. But basically like certain men that you be like in a relationship with, it's like they actually really hate you. Like <laughs> it's kind of hard to explain, but it's almost like, yeah, it do be feeling like that sometimes. It's like, wow, this person actually hates me. Like they don't want to see the best for me. Okay. But yeah, it's giving that type of energy. So I don't know if that's someone's confirmation or what. It's like they don't come out and say they hate you, but it's like they not treating you like a divine feminine. It's like they not really, they don't have eyes to see, you know, that you are um, that. So, yeah. <laughs> Give me some more insight here for the collective. What else are they, are they needing to know right now? Look, divine protection. There's divine protection all on the divine feminine. And love is coming out here. So, this is confirmation too. It's like when it comes towards your love life, there's divine protection. So
surrounding it so it's like of course you know spirit your ancestors whoever you believe in they gonna let you know when a person is not for you and this is just not even um solely like a romantic situation it could even be friendships as well yeah definitely check out that love read y'all because like this is giving kind of like the same type of energy give me some more insight here it's like just know that when you moving from a good heart a pure heart just know that you will always win in the end i be having to like remind myself of that too because sometimes people be playing with you it's like they see your um kindness for a weakness and they just really want to play in your energy they want to play with you in your face too and some people is like really bold to where they will actually play with you in your face which is crazy but just know that you always get some type of like sign or like a warning about this energy like certain energies that could be one to like pretty much like they could be one to mistreat you or deceive you some way somehow hopefully this video does not get interrupted but um because it'd be like these spam calls that be calling and one of them knocked the video off i'm like wow very disrespectful look protect your energy is showing up here too so definitely continue to protect your energy um it's like when it comes towards your energy it's like you do not play okay but it's like the divine does not play about you either but of course it's like our responsibility to make sure we are protecting our energy from certain people places and things too so give me some more insights for the collective what else are they needing to see here right now Oh, look, we got new car keys, y'all. So, look, somebody could be getting an upgrade when it comes towards their car. Yeah, um, the energy I'm getting, y'all, Divine Feminine is about to upgrade. You about to get a new car, okay. That's what it's looking like, seriously. This could be, this is definitely, oh, and you know what, y'all? Maybe I'm going to have to make a whole separate video because I know pe some people don't be, um, they don't really last this long throughout the video because it's almost 20 minutes. But I actually did see something um, pertaining to like a love situation. It was like a proposal. But I'm gonna have to make a whole separate video to get the details. But what I'm seeing here is like some type of like grand gesture or like a grand proposal. But it's kind of given like um, someone being gifted a new car. But it's like, it's the divine feminine. So like a divine masculine is gonna be buying a divine feminine, a car or something, or a new, a new car or like an upgrade or something. That's what it's looking like. But I'm actually in the read here, y'all. Thank you very, very much for watching.